Hello everyone. Welcome to Go VM Lab. In this lecture, we are going to learn about VMware vRealize Log Insight product. VMware vRealize Log Insight is one of the very powerful troubleshooting product which provides a visual representation of the log data and help user with the ability to quickly visualize and translate log data to identify potential issues in their environment. So now as you could see that this is our vRealize login site login screen. So let's log into our vRealize login site with the admin user credentials. Now click here to login. And as you could see that we are successfully logged in to our vRealize login site dashboard. Now in the previous lecture we had discussed about overview dashboard and the interactive analytics like how do we go and do the query on the log. In this lecture we are going to walk you through with the content packs, log sources and the administration view of log inside dashboard and we'll see that what all the things we can configure with these particular options. So now let's get started. So now let's click on content pack. Now what is content pack? Content pack gives us capability to integrate non vSphere environment like Linux operating system, Windows operating system, or maybe other VMware, v, VM, other VMware products like vSAN, NSX, VROps with this vRealize login site. And vRealize login site gives us a centralized way of log monitoring portal and analyzing and visualizing those logs from coming from a various sources in a much more simplified way. So now currently, if you do see that, it says that marketplace unavailable because we need to install this content pack and integrate this content pack with the vRealize login site, but it requires network connectivity because in this environment, we don't have an internet connectivity. That's the reason it says that marketplace unavailable and it won't be able to download new content pack in this vRealize login site. But if you look at this lab infrastructure, there are already pre-installed content pack. For example, we do have a pre-installed content pack for Apache. Then we have a Linux, Microsoft and a few other VMware products like VROps, vSAN and vSphere. So now let's click on one of the content pack. For example, let's say Linux. And if you do see that, it tells us that the content pack for Linux provides you with information about key entities of a Linux operating system as you do see that. And if you want to see that what all the information this content pack provides us in terms of log visualization. That's where you can see bunch of options right there which are coming as a part of this content pack. So now we do have a dashboard queries alerts agent groups extracted extracted fields. Then we have a security overview security for SSH and so on so forth. Now let's click on the windows section and click here to expand it and look at that what it says. This content pack for Microsoft Windows provides you with information about the key entities of a Windows operating system installation health using log insight. And if you want to see that this content pack also provides dashboard information, queries, alerts, agent groups. And if you just scroll down, you will find a new information about widgets very specific to this particular content pack. Now let's say we are very much interested into vSphere content pack. So let's click on vSphere and look at that what it says. This content pack says that the vSphere content pack provides powerful insight into your vCenter server and the ESXi logs. So this is a content pack which is really important for us whenever we want to troubleshoot VMware vSphere environment using vRealize log insight. Now it gives us a bunch of information like proactive monitoring of our vSphere environment tracking the changes and isolating security threats and additional information. Now, if you just scroll down, just like other content pack, it also has a dashboard queries, alerts, agent groups and extra extracted fields. And if you do see that uh, uh, one of the very important thing to know that this content pack gives us a new widgets which are very specific to vSphere environment. Now, let's look at some of those widgets. So one of the widget is all vSphere events which would be giving the total number of events received over the period of time. And that's what all vSphere events is all about it. Then if you look at that, it says that vSphere error events, the total number of error events received over time. Now this is the next widgets which says that vSphere error events by cluster. It means that it is going to give the information about error events which are received by a specific cluster. Now if I scroll down, 
that's where you will be seeing a lot of other information as a part of this content pack it gives information about esxi events which gets triggered vSphere problem events and vSphere connectivity lost by components so so on so forth so you could see that uh, uh, this is a very powerful content pack which gives us a lot of visibility in our vSphere environment once we integrate this content pack to our vRealize log inside in the subsequent lectures we are going to go much more in detail about these content packs and we'll see that how do we go and and identify potential issues in our vSphere environment now let's move on to the next field what do we have it is the log sources so now if you do see that in the log sources we do have a two options agents and containers so now what is these agents now this log inside agent collects information from the log files from the various a uh, non vSphere platform maybe windows machines linux machines or maybe container based environment it actually go and fetch the log files from those different environment and then it forwards all of that information to a vRealize log inside server for better analysis of the data and the visualization of those log data so that's what it says that a log inside agent collects event log from log files and it forwards to a vRealize log inside server now if you do see that there are a bunch of links have been provided which are the installation packages for windows platform linux platform debian and the linux binaries as well now if you look at the fluentd fluentd is again is a open source a tool where which also help us to collect the the data from the configured sources and it process and transform them to a appropriate endpoint and that's what fluentd is all about uh, that's what fluentd is all about it and it it is widely used in a container based environment So now these are the two log sources we can configure any of these log sources whatever we are we are comfortable with and and we can integrate these agents to collect the log files from the respective environment and give it to the logs inside server for log level analysis the very last option what do we have it is the administration now this administration option is very specific to vRealize log inside appliance monitoring so for example if you look at the very first option it says that system monitor now what is that system monitor the system monitor actually go and gives the resource consumption information about our log inside appliance for example it says that in the last 5 minutes what has been the cpu consumption in the last 24 hours what has been the cpu consumption of this particular log appliance vm and if you do see that currently this log appliance vm is configured with four cores the next section what do we have it is about memory so it says that what memory is configured with so it is configured with close to 8 gb of memory and if you do see that in the last 24 hours what has been the memory usage of this particular log appliance vm now i scroll down further it will give you information about total read and write operations which which went through this particular appliance and it also gives metrics of last 5 minutes and last 24 hours now you know that we realize log inside does a lot of data analysis is actually go read about the log files and it actually generate those reports in a much more easy and simplified way and that is the reason it consumes lot of system resources so you have to keep a hawk eye on this system monitoring section of your we realize log inside appliance if you observe any kind of lag during interacting or querying this particular log data from this particular appliance so so it's really important to have a, a a key close eye on these system monitoring resources now let's go down scroll further and you will see that live storage so it says that currently out of 18.6 gb 461.3 mb data space is currently being used by this log inside appliance for hosting those log data so that's a one of the very important section of administration the next what do we have it is a cluster now currently if you do see that this vrealize log inside appliance has been deployed as a single node but to increase the availability redundancy you can also go and create a cluster by adding one or more additional nodes of vrealize log inside appliance and that's what this cluster section is all about it the next what do we have it is the access control access control is more about rbac where you want to create a different set of users and you want to give them access to a specific functionalities of vrealize log inside the next what do we have it host option so the host option talks about what all the host currently is being managed by this vrealize log inside 
or what all the host or the entities which are exporting all of their log data to this we realize login site and we realize login site is able to give us visual representation of those log data so currently if you do see that there are five vsxi host vcenter server and the one more vm are currently being configured with this we realize log inside the next what do we have it is agents so if you do see that as of now there is only one agent what has been installed into one of the host name having a name as control center as you do see that this is the ip address of that particular system and if you do see that this is the windows win 2k12 machine which means that the log inside is actually going communicating to our windows 2k12 machine as well with the help of log inside agent and if you do see that it gives us information about how many events per second has been reported what is the uptime status and so on so forth now the next option what do we have it one of the very important is integration so now if you do see that there are currently two vmware product which has been integrated with we realize log inside the very first product is vsphere product and the second product is we realize operations so let's click on vsphere product and we'll see that if you do see that our vcsa01 vcenter server is actually integrated with we realize login site and that is the reason we realize login site is able to collect all of the inventory information the log information from the vcenter server and the all the host which are actually being managed by that vcenter server can we add more than one vcenter server to our we realize login site yes absolutely so that's where we have an option called add vcenter server you just provide the vcenter name credentials and you can add one more vcenter server to your we realize login site and that's how you could see that we realize login site gives us a centralized way of managing troubleshooting and and visualizing all of the log data from various vsphere and non vsphere environment the next what do we have it is uh, we realize operations so let's click on this particular option let's click on we realize operations and you do see that it's pretty easy to integrate we realize operation manager to we realize log inside cloud just by providing host name and the user credentials now once we provide this username credentials click on that test option and it will actually go and validate the connectivity with that operation manager machine and it says that the test is successful so now your vr ops is in integrated successfully with the we realize log inside dashboard the next what do we have it is the configurations which are general configurations for example if you want to configure your email alerts browser sessions and then you have a time configurations where you can go and configure ntp server that is one of the most recommended way of doing it so now this conclude our lecture on we realize login site where we have get to know about content packs for example you have a content packs for linux windows and maybe other vsphere products like vsphere vsan nsx vr ops so on so forth then we discussed about log sources where we can configure we realize log inside agents to non vsphere environment get the log files and then start populating those log information and data in the we realize log inside and the very last option what we had discussed about the administration that's where we actually go and integrate our vcenter server vr ops to our we realize login site and it it also help us to do the resource level monitoring of our, that's one of the key aspect of uh, measuring we realize login site performance and have a very close eye on those cpu memory and storage utilization we really hope you enjoyed this lecture thanks for your time please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you